Hello, uh, my name is Ben Wallace. I work for Microsoft. I am the MAG member who acts as the facilitator for the Best Practice Forum on Cybersecurity. And I'm going to provide an overview of the work of the BPF in 2020. Now, as you may know, um, Best Practice Forums or, or BPFs are working groups that anyone can join and which work between the annual IGF meetings to develop outcome documents. Now, these outcomes uh, in the form of reports compiling good practices are intended to help inform policy debates and serve as inputs into relevant decision-making forums and processes. Stakeholders interesting, interested in contributing to BPF activities are, in, are encouraged to subscribe to the dedicated mailing lists where online meetings and other activities are announced. And you can find out more, including where to sign up at the link on this slide. Turning specifically to the BPF on cybersecurity, I'm going to recap last year's work and provide an overview of this year's work. And I will also explain about different ways that you can contribute to the work of the BPF. And I'll close with some relevant links and some contact information. Now, in order to describe the BPF's work in 2020, it's helpful to first explain the work that was done last year. In 2019, the BPF explored best practices in relation to international cybersecurity agreements and initiatives. Uh, examples include the Paris Call for Trust and Security in Cyberspace, the norms package um, adopted by the UN Group of Governmental Experts, the UNGGE, and the Global Forum for Security in Cyberspace, the GCSC, and many others. Now, the report identified best practices related to the implementation of different principles, norms, and policy approaches that were contained in these international agreements. As well as being presented at the IS 2019 meeting and published on the IGF website, the report was presented as an input to the UN's ongoing OEWG exercises, the open-ended working group um, on developments in the field of information and telecommunications in the context of international security. The 2020 BPF on cybersecurity will continue and expand the 2019 work on exploring best practices in relation to recent international cybersecurity initiatives. This includes reviewing new agreements as well as going into more depth on a few specific agreements in order to identify further best practices for implementing the commitments that are made and the norms that are set out in these agreements. The BPF will also create a new work stream this year to look at norms assessment. That is to say, um, how can you assess whether norms are being adhered to by states and non-state actors? And, and does the act of assessing whether norms are being respected itself contribute to uh, an increasing take up of the norms? For this, we will incorporate a, a multidisciplinary angle by bringing in experts from other strands of social science where norms have been dominant for rulemaking to see what learnings could be applied in the areas of cybersecurity. Finally, we have created a, a dedicated work stream this year to thinking about how we can increase our outreach to hopefully engage more stakeholders, particularly those representing governments, youth and the global south. I want to also note that we are reflecting whether and, and how to take account of the COVID-19 pandemic in the BPS work this year. We, we see targeted cyber attacks on hospitals and research institutions, for example, and that only further underlines the need to equip organizations with good practices to enhance their security. So this is something that the work streams will reflect on in their work over the next six weeks. So let me explain about the sequencing and flow of work for this year. Last month, we activated the three work streams, which have now started work. In the second half of July, we will publish a research paper covering these two topics and we'll seek the input of stakeholders. A draft report will then be published in the second half of September, which incorporates the feedback from our consultation. This will then be presented and discussed as part of this year's annual IGF meeting. 
And then a final version incorporating any comments received during the annual meeting will be published by the end of the year. Now this slide lists the people who are leading the work this year. Each BPF needs to have a facilitator who's serving on the multi-stakeholder advisory group, the MAG, and that's me. I have a co-facilitator, Marcus Kummer, who has been involved in the IGF in different roles over the years, uh, including currently as chairman of the Internet Governance Forum Support Association, the IGFSA. We have a lead expert, uh, Martin van Horenbeck, who is a board member of FIRST, the Forum of Incident Response and Security Teams. And then our three work streams this year are led by John Herring from Microsoft, Mallory Nerdl from the Center for Democracy and Technology, and Sheetal Kumar from Global Partners Digital. And we're supported by a consultant to the IGF Secretariat, Wim de Gazelle. And to close, uh, this final slide provides links to the BPS homepage, as well as a link where you can subscribe to the mailing list and an address if you want to contact um, the BPS Securities Coordination Team, which includes me. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>